How's the taste? Hey guys, it's me, Kuya Milton, and today we are going to be making the best meatloaf wow. you have ever had. Trust, Trust me. Uh, meatloaf? My favorite! <laughs> this is one of my favorite foods growing up that my dad used to make me, and I cannot wait to share it with you. Let's get started. First step, we are going to boil our eggs. Make sure to do it nice and carefully. You don't want to break the shell. Now we peel. Okay, our eggs are peeled. We're gonna save this for later. Now we're gonna cut our baby carrots. Chop some garlic. We're gonna cut two onions. You don't have to make these cuts too small. They're gonna shrink later on. Now, we're not only gonna cook our onions, we're gonna caramelize them. Add some oil and also some butter. Add our onions, some salt, and mix. Cover, set to low, medium. Once it gets to this point, so look at that beautiful color, nice brown. Add a little bit of butter, our chopped garlic. Look at that. Oh my gosh, nice deep brown smell of that garlic. Put that to the side until it cools down. Now we're gonna cut our mushrooms. These are gonna go inside the meatloaf, but also gonna be part of our gravy. This looks like a lot, but once you cook it, it's gonna really shrink and you'll see that it's not a lot at all. We're gonna cook them in the pan that we're gonna bake our meatloaf. Salt. Take a little spoon, put it to the side. We're gonna add some flour to make our gravy. Now we're gonna slowly add our beef stock. It's starting to look like a gravy now. Don't forget the salt, pepper. And now to make the gravy even better, we're gonna add cream. Let's try it. Whoa, super creamy. Now we're gonna add a secret ingredient. These are breadcrumbs. You can just use slices of bread. I use three slices, just broke them down. We're gonna add some milk. This is gonna make sure that our meatloaf is nice and juicy. Mix it up and we're gonna let that soak for about 15 minutes. So we got all of our ingredients ready. Now it's time to talk about the meat. You can use your favorite ground meat, but what I find works best, ground pork and ground beef. Now we're gonna combine everything. Carrots, caramelized onions and garlic. We cut those mushrooms. Now we're gonna put our mushrooms in our meat. Look how much the bread absorbed that milk. Now we're gonna add it to our meat loaf. Salt, pepper, oregano, parsley, and thyme. We're also gonna add some Parmesan cheese. To bind everything together, we're gonna add two eggs. Now, nothing to do but mix. Now we're gonna mold our meat look. We're gonna wet our fingers so the meat doesn't stick to us. Divide it into four, and each section will be for one egg. Spoon some of that gravy over the top. And now we're ready to bake. 325, one and a half hours. Halfway through, we're gonna take it out and baste. Okay, time to remove the meatloaf. Ooh, look at that. Now we're gonna put this on a nice plate. We gotta reheat our gravy. Make sure to mix it so that it becomes emulsified again. 
And now we're gonna thicken it back up. And it's starting to get to where you like it. Go back again with that cream. A way to tell that the sauce is nice and thick and ready is if it coats the back of the spoon like that. And then to finish off the sauce, one more tablespoon of butter. Wow, looks super glossy. Look at that. Oh my god. Now time to plate. Let's take this. We're gonna cut into the middle. Oh my god! Oh. Wow! Let's take some of this mashed potato. And there you have it, the ultimate meatloaf. We've got a side of mashed potatoes to go with it. And we got our beautiful mushroom gravy. It looks so good. But it doesn't matter how's the look. What matters is how's the taste. Let's pour this. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh yeah. Let's take a bite. Mm. <laughs> and there's a lot of flavors going on. You have that slow roasted gravy from the mushroom, the cream, the butter. Then you have all those flavors from the meatloaf, the carrots, the onions. There's so many flavors going on right now. Really like the texture. All right, this mashed potato right here. Mm. Oh my gosh, so creamy. This amazing meatloaf. Mm. So creamy. That's what I like about it. Mm. It's so good when you have two different meats because it's hard to tell like what you're tasting. It's, it's like something new completely. The beef and the pork are a really good combination. Mm. So good. And the egg. Oh my gosh, it's really good. Okay guys, that's it for this video. I really enjoyed making this recipe for you. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below for whatever recipe you'd like to see me do next. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye! How's the taste? You're old. I see this pig just sitting there, and I'm like, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Surprise! I think I have a good choice. Bruh.